to fetch the data from the database we need to query into the database right so for that we have a view right where is our view we have this api app right so inside this api app we have a views.py right so currently what we are doing we are actually sending the static student data as a json response that is what we are printing here right but now we don't want this static data we want the dynamic data all right so for that what we'll do is we will remove this static data and we need to query into the database right so our database table name or the model name is student right where is our model now it is inside our students app and the models.py which is here it is right so we want to go inside this and first import it right so let's say from students dot models import student all right so now the student model is available here what we will do is we will actually go inside this student and objects dot all student dot objects dot all which will bring all the student which are inside the database and store it inside this students Okay, so the students we are passing inside the JSON response, right? So that is what we were doing in the previous video, right? So before that, we'll simply do a debug print once. Students. Oh, I'm sorry. Students. Let's see what we get. All right. So let's refresh and see whether we get the data from the database or not okay we got the error now so let's go back to the terminal and see our print statement right so we have done the debug here let's see whether it has printed something okay you can see it successfully fetched our data from the database which is the query set student ratan kumar and another student john doe right but it did not print the a json response on the front end okay let's read the error now in order to allow non-dict objects to be serialized set the safe parameter to false okay so it is saying in order to allow non-dict objects okay so it is saying we cannot pass non-dict objects which means this is not the dictionary right by default a json response assumes that you are sending the a dictionary okay but in our case we are not sending any dictionary we are sending the query set for that it is saying set the safe parameter to false okay let's see let's set safe equal to false safe equal to false okay now let's see whether we can bring the data okay this time we got another error which is object of type query set is not json serializable okay so at this time it was able to detect that we are sending the query set last time it was giving something else right so it was not able to detect whether it is a query set or list or anything else it just told us that we are passing the non-dict object but right now it knows that the query set we are passing right but uh, however it is not json serializable okay let's do one thing you know what we have two options now one we will take all the values from the student query set and convert it to the list which is essentially a manual way of serializing the query set okay the second option is we can make use of django rest frameworks one of the very powerful component to serialize the data which is called serializers okay we can either manually serialize the data or we can make use of serializers okay which is actually a component of the django rest framework okay we will see both of these in this course and we will also understand which one to use and why all right our motive is to print the student data here right as i said let's uh, serialize this data so how you can serialize the data manually so let's say students list is equal to serializing is nothing but you know taking all the values from the query set and converting it into a list okay which will be easy for us to convert it to json as i said json is a easy to read format right so let's do that here so first of all we need to take all the students 
no students values okay not students you know we are accessing all the values from this uh, students query set and we will convert it into a list we'll put this inside the list okay list of students dot values now this time instead of passing this students we will pass students list okay students list now you must be asking why this safe equal to false well json response assumes that you're passing a dictionary into it but here we are not passing dictionary this time we are passing the students list right so that's why we are telling django that we are not passing any dictionary we are passing list but it is safe okay so that's why we need to pass safe parameter into this json response whenever we want to pass any other data type except the dictionary all right so let's refresh and see okay this time you can see we are able to see the student data right so we have one you know the first uh, the id is one and student id is s001 and the second one is this one right what if i add one more student s003 let's say mike abc okay and i will say information science okay let's see i have added one more data and see if i refresh this and here you can see we got the data right so this is the manual way of serializing the data but there is a problem with this type of manual serialization taking the query set and converting it to a list can be our temporary solution and it is not recommended while you are developing restful apis you can only do this in some simple use cases not at all recommended for creating the apis okay we need more powerful tool to serialize the complex data which can also handle the validation for us right that's where the serializers comes in django rest framework provides a powerful tool called serializers that can be used to convert the complex model objects or query sets into json or xml formats okay so more about serializers in the next video